Welcome to my home and my little tiny bedroom. I am going to do some decluttering in here. Spring has sprung. I want to go through my clothes. I can't really get rid of warm clothes because it does get quite cold here still at night, but I definitely want to go through my closet and see what I can get rid of. And I also have a little drawer set beside my bed. I want to get all my office stuff out of here finally because I'm going to be setting myself up in another room, which you're going to see in another video. But I really want to get started because I've been procrastinating this, procrastinating this for about two hours and it's time to just dive right in. With being laid up, I just have a lot going on here and the floor is dirty. I got painkiller cream and my knee brace and uh, I guess it's Easter stuff that my husband put there. I need to get that cleaned out and these are the drawers to get cleaned out. I already started decluttering, but just put it right up there before I went to Alabama. Then I have some clothes that need to be washed. These clothes need to be washed, and I tend to do mine separately than the family stuff. And then all my undergarments are just a mess. And here's my closet. You know, it just isn't at all what I want it to be. So it's time to get it cleaned up. Then let's not forget the clean laundry that I have here that I need to put away. First things first, let's get the things on the doors put away and the laundry. It's The dirty laundry is the easiest part. I'm not gonna put it in a basket in the bathroom yet though. The girls are doing their laundry today. So I'm just gonna keep it separated and then when they're done tonight, I'll get it started. I need to put those away too. Goodness, goodness, goodness. So many things. This I could probably go one more night on. I like to wear it to bed, it's nice and cozy. I don't feel safe putting my winter coat away in case I go somewhere in the evening. I don't go far right now. Well, my knee is healing, but you just never know. I've been asked before, why do I store off-season clothes in my basement in a box? And the reason for that is because, as you can see, I have a very tiny closet for all of my clothes and I live in an area where we definitely have four seasons. But I think what I'm going to actually do is get some pretty baskets, a couple pretty baskets to go up here and to be putting my off-season clothes there because I really don't have a lot. I believe they're going to fit. All right, so this I am gonna keep. This I'm gonna keep, I haven't worn it yet, <laughs> but it's from my church, so I'm gonna keep that. It might come in handy. And oh, I guess some of this was stuff to pack away? I don't even know. This I know was stained, so I'm getting rid of that. This was the craziest sweater. I love this sweater, but without even, it felt like without even touching it, it started getting all these pulls. So I can't even donate this. Can you see that? Is that coming through? That's just a mess. And the whole sweater is like that. I really loved it and I love the colors, but no thank you. This had stains on it that I couldn't get out. You know, the oily, just, I know. I know what to use, it just didn't work. The Dawn Hydrogen Peroxide and Dawn Hydrogen Peroxide, what was the other one? Oh yeah, baking soda. It just didn't, it was too, too much in there. I'm gonna get rid of this one too. And this is being kept, I don't know why I brought it up, maybe I thought I was gonna wear it. Or maybe I kept it in my closet over the year, but I love this. The funny thing is when I bought this, I thought, oh, it's dirty too, what the heck? I'll have to try washing it. I thought I, it had bees on it, but it's flowers. And my husband had bought this for me. It didn't work out, but I'm gonna keep it with spare things in my basement in case someone else gets injured. Now I'm gonna go through these things quickly and see if there's anything to get rid of. The pants. I like this still, it's comfy. That's comfy. This is a little weird because the, the actual inside of the material is what peeled up. This was inexpensive TJ Maxx. 
I don't know if you can see, but it's all pilled up and it's very uncomfortable. So this is going. All right, keeping, 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 coat hanger, keeping that. It's like a cardigan sweater. I feel like wrapped it around so it wouldn't fall off. This, I'm gonna keep it until it's hot weather, but the neckline is all stretched out from just washing it. So once the season is over, I will be getting rid of this. And then this, I'm gonna pack away. This I've had a couple years now, and although I like it, it's just honestly not comfortable. It's really too long on me, and then just the way it fits around the hips, it's just honestly not comfortable, so I tend not to wear it because of that. And then this was expensive. I loved how it said, let your light shine. This was like $50 at Lane Bryant, and the neckline is ridiculous, so that's going. This I will also pack away. I really liked it. My family gave it to me for Christmas. I like the, the two-tone nature of it, but I don't think I'm, pro I'm probably not even going to wear it again this spring. So I'm going to pack this away for next winter as well. So these are all jeans. Keeping those. <sighs> this was in the bottom of my closet to remind me that I needed to wash it. I tell you. When you have injuries going on, you find all kinds of weird shortcuts. My legs are already bothering me, so I'm going to go sit for five minutes and I'll be right back. It's good how cats can completely make themselves at home, isn't it? <laughs> Wherever they want to be. Well, that turned out to be a much longer break than I planned on because my husband and I ended up watching a movie together. He has a day off. This I'm getting rid of. It was like supplements. They're expired. So mostly this is like undergarments, but I know there's some I could get rid of. Like, I guess these are nylons. I should keep those. So I'm going to go through these really quickly. I'm not going to show because undergarments too much, but older ones, if there are any left, because I got new ones, are going to get tossed. And then this, this is a hair thing. I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh, a pin. This is pretty. I don't really wear pins, but I might keep this to give to someone as a gift. It really has not been too long since I decluttered any of these things. I'm sure you might have even seen the video before when I was doing this declutter, but I'm taking out some of the socks that I never wear or that might not have a match or that seem kind of small on me. Sometimes I think even socks shrink. This, oh, this was, um, yeah, my pocketbook came in that, but I don't use it, so I'm gonna get rid of that. All right. pair of nylons. I'm not going to keep those. It's going to be a while for them in a dress. And hair scrunchie I already did declutter and so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. This was a bag tag from my suitcase but it never it doesn't hold. Waxing strips I'll keep those. Trash. This needs a frame, and the last time I decluttered, I said I was gonna get a frame for it, and I never did, so it's happening. These are pens of pencils. Don't need that in here. I don't know why that's even in here. Oh, money. <laughs> I just got paid $5. Socks that go in here. Coat hanger for our babies. Must be when my a uh, grandson was here. A ring that hasn't fit me in years, but my husband gave it to me. Hope abounds. I'm going to keep it. So this one is for like bras, that sort of thing. This one's for socks and underwear. Actually, no, that's not true. I think socks were supposed to go in here. I got a ton of socks. Well, not a ton. A ton for me. 
I can't even keep track of my own system. These are so thin, I hate them. My husband put these boxes on here because I didn't think I could pull them out from my drawer, but I do think I could put them back in. These are nylons. I'm going to put that with the bras. I hardly ever wear nylons. There we go. There we go. This is my pile to get rid of. This is a curling iron that belonged to my daughters. They don't want anymore. That's going. This it was a teeth whitening thing, but i got to see if I have the rest of the packaging. To put the tall one in first and turn it and then the smaller one goes in easy and here's my pajamas my box pajamas this is a scarf my husband just gave me he went to a little gift shop and got this for me so keeping that I'll probably just put it over a hanger one of the hangers that my jacket's on I need to get a hook. I should put a hook on my door. You see how I have these hooks for my jewelry? I would like to do that for scarves. I could do that here. Up here, this lotion I literally never use. I'm gonna get rid of this. I find the Vaseline Intensive Care works way better than this for me. This is some jewelry. This was the diamond and my mother's first engagement ring from my dad and he made a necklace out of it when he upgraded. So that's hers and it's very special to me. This I'll use like in the winter. So I'm gonna put this with my winter clothes. Some little sample perfumes I do use sometimes. My Canon camera. I might end up moving this stuff when I set up my office. We'll have to see. Let me tell you that story. Let's see. Our youngest son is a freshman in college and he has decided he would like to stay down there where his college is. Through the summer, he's gonna roam with some friends and he does it with our blessing. Our oldest did the same thing. And so I am gonna take over his bedroom a little bit or half of it and that's gonna become my office. So the beauty of that is I've been keeping off stuff for YouTube here, there and everywhere, electronics, but now I'm gonna be able to move that stuff. So he goes back to school tomorrow and this is his last break before summer. So tomorrow or sometime this weekend, next week, I don't know. It's going on my list of slowly, gently protecting my leg, but still getting in there and getting some of my office stuff set up so that I'll have a space of my own that's not part of the living space. So I'm pretty excited about that. For example, this goes with my, my lights. I have these really cheapy lights. This goes with it. And I think I could use it as a selfie stick too. And this is for my phone. So these are coming out. I'm like a little pack rat in here. Oh, and then this was a, <laughs> a card from my husband. I have to figure out where I want to put that. This can come out and get put with winter stuff. <laughs> and then this can be put with winter stuff. This I was using all the time until I got my teddy banks. But since I might end up on crutches, I'm going to keep it a bit longer. Oh, this is the box from my microphone. I really don't need to keep this box. So that can go and I'll just keep the little, I don't, probably don't even need that. I could probably get this online, but I'm going to keep it for now. Get rid of the box.
All right, lost track of myself. I was doing pajamas. These I'm keeping, what I do is I roll them and then they can fit in that box. I have all kinds of little tricks for small closets. These, are these my old ones? Okay, these are the new ones I got at Target and they came in the mail, I ordered them. Seriously, what is up with that? <laughs> Who on the planet wants to have lounge pants that are see-through? So I decided to keep these because for some reason, because of my skin, I guess, I don't know, you don't really see anything, but the other two pair I'm gonna show you and I'm sending those back. It was very sad because I'm like shopping online because I can't go in the store right now. I don't go far. And then you get them home and it's like, oh great, I can't even wear these. Now one of these pairs, yep, yeah, this is the pair. It has a hole in it. These don't last forever, that's for sure. These are from Target. See? So that was why I was getting new ones. It was to replace ones that are ripped. So now these ripped ones can go. This declutter, there's like not even anything barely I can donate except for the curling iron. So these, this is another pair of sweats from Target. Love these, very comfortable. Keeping that. This wrinkled shirt is a pajama shirt. Definitely keeping that. I got them when I got like the black and gray ones. So again, I fold and then I roll and then they fit right in the box. All right, I'm gonna find those ones I told you about. I just gotta show somebody. So here they are. And I love them, and I can tell they're so soft, but look. I don't know, maybe I should try, oh yeah, look at my hand. Maybe I should try them on just in case, but. <laughs> I was so excited because they're charcoal, but they're absolutely see-through. All right, I need to do some damage control. I'm a little concerned that I'm gonna get too much out and then I can't deal with it because I'm gonna fizzle. So I'm gonna get a bag, which I should have had in the first place, for the stuff that can't be donated, then I'm gonna put the stuff that can be donated in a box. All right, so I'm gonna start by putting in the things that can't be donated because they're just too heavily damaged. And then this is for donation. Whoops. Trash, trash, trash. And then these, a few donated things, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my donation box, which I have in my other room. All right, so now I have these things that are gonna get stored. I'm gonna have my husband go ahead and put these in the basement in the box of off-season clothes that I already have labeled, clear box, oh, COVID test. And then um, when I get the baskets for up top of the closet, then I'll have him go ahead and help me with that. Next, I'll get the laundry off the bed. This is trash, and get rid of this. All right, this I'm keeping. One reason I like to do all my laundry separately is because a lot of the stuff needs to be put on delicate or it can't go in the dryer, it has to be hung up. So I prefer just to do it all by itself. That way no one is putting it in the dryer by mistake because that's happened. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my bandages in here so it's all together with my other bandages. COVID tests I'm gonna put in the bathroom. So this stuff is for the bathroom. Now I can put the stuff back up here on the shelf that goes up here. This was out too. I'm gonna to go ahead and put it up here. It's too heavy for me right now to use. For now, pocketbooks go on a hanger. I need to buy more of the velvet hangers. So I did steal this one from my husband. It's one plastic hanger. So this is getting stored with winter stuff the lotion's getting thrown out. Then this is office stuff that I need to put with my office stuff. And this is sentimental items. This will be a gift for someone. So I need to find a place for these things. 
but I am done for today. I felt like I didn't get to do a lot and I'm just having to adjust to what is my new normal even if it's just for a little while. And I know so many of you understand and honestly, until I fell and injured myself, I had no idea how many of you were struggling physically. And I love all of you and I want you to know that my prayers are with you and I'm here to support you. I'm here to be your cheerleader and we're gonna celebrate every single thing that we're able to accomplish knowing that it gets us one step further to where we want to be but even focusing on the fact that because we're working on these things we really already are where we want to be so remember that and don't get discouraged so next day it's a little bit more like cloudy dreary out i wasn't wasting energy on my hair saving it and then I just wanted to feel comfy today. So I finished the closet. I did clean up on the floor. I'll show you because um, it's too hard to arrange my camera with my leg, blah, blah. And I want to get my little drawers tidied out and decluttered. So that's what we're going to work on now. I got all the clutter taken care of. So I just need my husband to help me come in here with a vacuum. I might have him just do that for me. And then <laughs> he made the bed for me, which is really sweet, but um, <laughs> this just kind of cracks me up, but it was nice of him to do it. <laughs> I'm also really over having spare sheets and blankets right there. I'd really rather put a comfortable chair there. So I might have him help me see if we can figure something out for under the bed, under the bed storage. I have an iced mocha coffee going on here. And this is a great job for me today because I can sit down and do it. So I am just going to get everything onto the bed and go through it. Trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my arms give up. I'm going to let the sun shine in. All right, so here is what I have. This is some jewelry, so I'm gonna put this in my closet with my jewelry. Put that aside. These are some pain creams. I don't know if this has an expiration date. I've had it for a very long time. I don't know. I'm probably gonna keep it, because you know, pain. <laughs> These are lens wipes, which really are not even any good. They don't work good, so I'm gonna get rid of those. I'm now over the guilt that I bought them. A waxing strip that I could get rid of. This is almost empty, but I didn't really like it. Honestly, my skin is so sensitive that it's very picky on what works. What's this? This is shower cream. So I'm going to put this up in the shower when I go take my shower today and I can use it up there. A lip balm that I have literally never used because I always forget about it. So I'm going to put it in my pocketbook to help me remember lip repair. Whoops. Put that in there with it. This is a lip gloss that I know I'm never going to use. So I'll get rid of that and body butter which is good for me right now because my legs are just dry all the time tmi <laughs> cuticle cream this stuff works really good keeping that in there and some wipes keeping that more lens wipes tied to go i'm going to put this with our laundry i don't even know how old these cough drops are so i am going to get rid of these oh they're probably i wonder if they were with this probably march 7th 2022 yeah we'll get rid of that and then getting rid of this, I never use it. Yeah, I don't even know what it goes to. So getting rid of that, keeping this. <laughs> put this with money. Keeping this as a spare charger. This actually works really good too. It's Manuka honey and this stuff. If Especially for summertime when you're wearing flip flops and stuff, this stuff is amazing. And then these were the scrunchies I decided to keep. Although I don't remember deciding to give a pink one. I never wear pink, so get rid of that. Yep, pens can go out where pens go, so those don't need to go back in there. And then this stays by my bed. Yes, it sure does. Sensitive tummy here. Look, it's a sunspot on the floor. It heard me complain. Yay! All right, so this, this, this is actually my diamond, and the diamond fell out, and I just haven't had a chance to fix it or to bring it in. 
So the diamonds in there and then my wedding band and engagement ring. Very sad. Why does she keep this stuff in here, you might ask? Well, partly it's because my kids use my stuff. If I don't keep it in here, I end up losing it. Wow, that's good. Look at that. Love it. Next drawer. Next drawer I have, these are all things that are for my equipment for YouTube. So this is all gonna leave. This was a lapel mic that I never use anymore. These are headphones. I need to see if I have the little cord that you use for charging these. This was from a massager thing. I can get rid of that. Lens wipes, measuring tape, trash, trash. Ooh, I'm always hunting for this. This is so valuable. <laughs> this will go in my office. All right, that was easy because it's all like Oh, this goes to my microphone, need to keep that. Um, this is all either trash or office stuff. So, hmm, what shall we put in here? Whoops, there goes, everything falls. Good, 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 good. Okay. These are like an iPad. They're like cards that my kids have given me. This can come out, this can come out. And everything else, oops. That, this can come out. Everything else is a keepsake, so. And my glasses, like spare reading glasses. So that can stay. Maybe I'll put this in here. Lens wipes in here. This is empty, so I can get rid of it there. So this one's completely empty. I could put, I needs to be vacuumed out, but when my husband gets out the vacuum, we'll do that. And I might be able to put some toiletries or something in there. But for now, it's an empty drawer, which is a beautiful thing. This stuff is all going in the office, so I'm just gonna bag it up so I can carry it down there. Oh, this needs to go in my pocketbook, this in the bathroom, okay. Now, that means my closet and my drawers are all decluttered. I would love my husband, and I'll help him, of course, <laughs> do his drawers in his closet. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see that video as well, or it's a man's closet. I don't know if it's as interesting, so let me know in the comments below. I have some videos up here that you might enjoy. YouTube puts one up that they think you'll like based on what you've already been watching, and then I like to put up a playlist of decluttering or more decluttering videos and I'll meet you over there or in the comments. So remember as always that God loves you and I love you too and I can't wait to see you next time.